Hovercraft project, you'll need a leaf blower, inexpensive plywood, approximately half an inch thick, three feet or four feet square or pre-cut into a circle, three feet or four feet in diameter, plastic shower curtain or liner, lid to a paint can or large coffee can, more than 30 ounces, four small nails and a hammer, clay or styrofoam, saber saw, preferably electric, pencil, electric gel, staple gun, duct tape, and a foam pipe insulation. Hold it just right. Yeah. So, what we do is we tie the string to the thing in the exact center, and there's a Sharpie at the end, which we use to trace around the whole entire thing. Yeah. For this part, you use the saw to cut out the circle. So, as you can see, it's all cut out now, and all we need to do is lift. And there it is. Okay, so, you have the nail that was in the middle, you get a ruler, and then, at about, how much was it? Halfway. Halfway. Between center and ed edge. So, and then you draw an X. It's hard to see. That's what you cut out. Uh-huh. So now you drill the hole so you can cut it. Come on through. Straight in there. At this point in the project, you can either paint it or not paint it. If you paint it, you have to wait for it to dry. But if you don't paint it, you'll be able to keep on working. There you go. A little more. Whoa! There it is. First off, you put your thingy on the floor. Your, um, oh, I forgot what it was called. Plastic. Your plastic on the floor. Shower curtain. And then the shower curtain on the floor. And then you put the thing on. And then that what you could do is cut it first. Okay. Alright, and now you take out the da -da -da, the staple gun. Usually at this point the sides would not be completely on, so use the staple gun. So now you've got them all in, you gotta hammer them out. So that nice and secure. The tape is very important because it has to make sure that no air can escape. Okay, now we have to do the second row because there's gonna be three layers. So there's this, there's this layer and we've already done a bit of the top part. But then there's also going to be a bunch of tape down here. Okay? So. Because we don't want that. There to be any chance of air coming out here. Mm -hmm.
Okay, we've done the outer layer, the inner layer. And the last piece is down. Okay, so you could put another layer of tape on top, but you don't have to. Okay, flip it over. On the back, it's very shiny. And there are all these X's. So Dad, tell us how you did this. I, uh, when I started the project, I... Dad, tell us how you did it. Put the lid in the center. Mm -hmm. I wanted to measure out about four inches or so from mm -hmm. the edge here. And in this pattern right there like that. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, there's seven on there. Yeah, I just don't know if I cut my piece. Okay, so now he has to nail in the uh, paint lid. Okay, so we had to, um, I don't know what we had to do. What we had to nail to some holes in the lid so mm -hmm. we could get these small tacks to sit in there because they're too short for us to hold. But once we did that, we can now kind of get them to stand up enough, hopefully. For you have to put, okay. That's good. I think you got it. <laughs> Going. No, it's okay. You don't, don't, don't. Stupid mosquitoes! Hey, you! Give me a hot one. Okay, so the holes, the X's weren't exactly perfect, so we replaced them with, um, uh, uh, circles and in different places too. So, Dan, how are you gonna cut them? So, we're using the X-Acto knife to cut the circles and it's working. Okay, now we have all the holes cut out, and I could put my finger in them. Okay, now we have to put on the bunker, the bumpers. Someone's excited. Give me some duct tape, it's more duct tape. Okay, so we're getting ready to put on the foam bumper. We bought the three, it's a half inch piece of plywood. We bought the three quarter inch foam insulation, pipe insulation. We're not 100% sure how good that'll work. I'm gonna give it a shot. Okay, she's doing a good job on the Okay, so Bumper. He's almost done over there. Got the first part. Now all we need to do is glue, just put it on and have it secure. Okay. Then we have to do the second part. 
So, to secure on the bumper, we're just putting tape around it every like, I don't know. Okay, now we're almost done. You just have to cut that near the thing. Just perfect. And as you can see, we taped all the tape and we taped this one with this one, which is exactly what we are going to do on the other side. Right, Dad? Huh? Right, Dad? That's exactly what we're just doing. You know it. There. Yes. Okay, now it's taped on. Now hold on. And we're gonna do it on both sides. Gotta go underneath it. Not yes. everywhere, just right here on the seams. Mm-hmm. So. This person's a professional. Don't try this at home. Well, actually, do try this at home because that's where I'm making the video, but. Okay, as you can see, it wraps all around. Okay, now all we have to do is put in the leaf blower. This is the finale. The finale of all finales. He's taping on the leaf blower. <laughs> we have to film the whole entire thing. It's finished. It is, like, finished, like, literally. I cannot believe that after all this work, it's, and waiting for, to get a leaf blower, it's finally here. And in, like, how, how long? Like, uh, I don't know, like, maybe, uh, like, 10 or 20 minutes, it'll finally be able to ride. I'm taping. <laughs> 